name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the specially merciful. May peace, mercy and blessings of Allah the Almighty be upon all of you. I am Umar ibn Abid and this is our lecture for the tool making source of language. The same lecture you can watch in Urdu or you can say in Hindi on my channel as well. You can follow the link in the description below or you can follow the card. So let's start. So as the name suggests the tool making source. So it means uh, that how the tools could be the source of language of human beings. So there is evidence that about 2 million years ago human had developed preferential right handedness means that human were skillful in using right hand and started making stone tools and after some times they also started making wood tools and composite tools. Uh, so if we look at uh, our brain so we have two parts uh, that is our brain is lateralized it is divided into two major parts left hemisphere and left, uh, right hemisphere so neurologist said and uh, we will also study brain in more detail in neurolinguistics so neurologist said that in left hemisphere uh, there is part through which we produce language although uh, it is not a physical part it can it is an unseen part but by experiments they have concluded that left hemisphere uh, is used for uh, producing language but we will look at uh, in detail in human uh, and language brain oh sorry human brain and language so the two parts uh, the two functions of brain in left hemisphere that is motor movements involved in speaking and in object making that is making tools so object making and speaking these two functions in left hemisphere are very closely related uh, close to each other so therefore uh, it can it is suggested or it could be suggested that as humans started making tools they have also started speaking so but uh, what's the fault in this source uh, uh, the first is that tool making source is unable to provide the structural organization of language we use individual sound to make words for example uh, we have suppose these two sounds uh, three sounds and we will look at these in phonetics and phonology in more detail so b u and k so we make a word book actually these are the sounds and these are the spellings uh, ipa sound you know so we will look at in detail as i have said you in phonetics and phonology so but uh, this source uh, is not providing the evidence that what was the structural organization how uh, human beings started to produce sounds and then they started to make words this uh, theory or this source is not explaining that uh, e even if we look at sign languages they also require some organization of symbols to convey a message uh, if you have uh, uh, read uh, something about sign languages so you must know that there are uh, one or two or three symbols and combinedly they make only one word and we will look at this subject or this era in psycholinguistics in detail uh, but if we believe in this source then the basic idea could be just like that for example as a tool is constructed by sharpening some materials and using different things uh, if i take you back for example you are looking the picture of a tool so you know this is another material in this tool and this is another material so it means this tool has been made from different materials i am not saying that this is actually the ancient 
stone tool which was made by human beings but as we know when we make a tool so a tool is mostly composed of more than one thing and even a t- if a tool is not composed of more than one thing then you even then you have to sharpen that tool uh, that material uh, you have to cut that material and then you make a shape of that tool so it really means Uh, that it does mean that human brain was working so uh, j- just like uh, if a tool is composed of more than one material so maybe uh, human beings have organized sorry have organized some sounds to make a word just like they use different materials to make a tool as i have told you that b u and k to make a word book similarly as uh, they made tools with different materials uh, and organizing th- these different materials into a particular shape to make a stone tool or to make a wood tool similarly they tried to make some sounds and they tried to combine them uh, to make a word so this could be the basic idea if we believe and if we think that this is Uh, the true theory that the tool making source of language is the origin of language so uh, as i have told you earlier just like other sources uh, this source also has not much evidence that it is true uh, and uh, this is all about tool making source and in the next lecture we will look at the genetic source of language so one thing uh, i just uh, want to say that uh, maybe uh, you have a little bit difficulty in understanding my language and as i told you in the first lecture that my native language is not english but i am trying to un- understand it i am trying to convey m- my message in english as well and i am a student of linguistics so this is my passion all other videos i have made in urdu or hindi and now i am going to make these videos in english but uh, i hope that the basic message uh, i tried to convey from these slides and through my speech you must have been understood so you can find uh, out any loopholes in my videos and you can g- uh, give comments and you can suggest me uh, you can give your recommendations and i am looking forward to you so don't forget to give your feedback remember in your prayers jazakallah khairan and thank you